stuff. So I've simply done copy. We come back to the previous one. You notice the um, memory usage on there is 444. So we copy the code. Remember before we were on 444 when we had only the setup and the loop. Now we are using 892 bytes of memory, which is 2%. So we're using quite a lot of memory to implement this simple task. So we thinking, what can we do to save? How comes a few things that we need to think of? We mentioned uh, the IO ports. So we back into the IO ports. And then if we scroll down, we've already seen the data direction registers. Do, do, do. A bit more, a bit more about the ports, some code examples, use of pins. We can just jump, but let's walk through it. General I.O. given on there, but we want to go into the registers. So if we go into registers, which is page 91, what you realize is that we've got um, the port, data direction register, and the pin. So we've got B, C, and D. So the same type, the same type port, data, the port, data direction register, and the pin. So I move it to the side for now, and we go back to the circuit for the Arduino Uno. So this is the um, circuit diagram for the Uno board. Notice that on the Arduino Uno, we've got, this is where maybe I need you to wake up if you're asleep or the coffee has stopped working. <laughs> we've got port D, we've got port C, and then we've got port B. So we have three ports that we are dealing with. So this 28 pin, uh, the pin one, you notice that port D2 to D7 is actually, if you trace it down from D2 to D7, you notice D2 to D7 is connected to the digital pin 2 to 7. Now, digital pin go up 8 to 13. So pin 13 being the one that we've been using the most is actually connected to port B5. So in 8 to 13 is connected from B0 to D5, B5. And pins, analog pin 0, see analog to digital converters on there. So analog pin 0, which is AD0 to AD5, connected to pin port C. So on Tinker card from two digital pin two to seven connected to PD zero, PD two port D two to port D seven, and eight to thirteen being connected to port E zero to port B five, and analog pin zero to five being port C zero to five. I get it correct. Port C zero to five. So far, so good. Is that a yes? If it's a yes, you can type a yes for me to know you are with me, and it's not too confusing. You have these, you have these two um, data sheets that you can make use of. Brilliant. Saying a yes means I don't need to revise it too much, right? So now, what do we have to do? We want to make use of the want to make use of the pin somehow. Get the data sheet back up. So we want to make use of port D. And as we said earlier, this is 8-bit uh, wide. So register, think of it as the pan example or the utensil example that we have. So we've got these eight utensils laid out, right? And by default, there is nothing in them. Zero means input, so by default, they are all configured as inputs, which makes sense because it means we wouldn't mistakenly send a high voltage or 5 volt to an external pin to uh, maybe damage a pin if it's actually connected doing nothing. Right, and all these are read writable, and we remember, remember that the data direction register actually um, sets the direction. So if there is a one in this particular this particular utensil, 
if there is mic in there, then what that means is that it's an output in, right? So one is output. And if we look at our circuit, what we want is switching between things is interesting. So what we want is um, our circuit, we have what is connected to the switch is pin two. So we want to configure pin two as an output and we want to configure pin five as an output. And we notice that they are all making use of both five and two uh, on port D, because from two to five on port D. So we want bit two, bit two for we got port E, bit one, two, zero, one, two, so one bit two, and then we want bit five. So from this circuit, same, we want to make use of this pin and then that pin. The rest are what? The rest can be um, output or input, doesn't really matter. So what we need to actually make sure is that this becomes an output because that's connected to the LED. 